The young and the restless spoilers, Adam's deceptive plot exposed. In a stunning twist on the young and the restless, Adam Newman's manipulative intentions are brought to light. The episode begins with Adam reeling from a heated confrontation with Sally Spectra. Her scathing words have left him unsettled, but instead of reflecting on the depth of his emotions, Adam devises a new plan. Desperate to avoid solitude and fill the void left by Sally's departure, he decides to use Chelsea Lawson as his emotional anchor. Adam, feeling the sting of Sally's departure, seeks solace in Chelsea, who has always been a reliable presence in his life. As the mother of his son, Connor, Chelsea represents both comfort and stability to Adam. He reaches out to her, masking his true motives with a veneer of affection and need. His phone call to Chelsea, though seemingly sincere, is laced with ulterior motives. He urges her to meet him at the penthouse, promising a discussion that will change everything. Chelsea, caught off guard by Adam's call, is hesitant. She has been trying to move on, mending her life with renewed hope in her relationship with Billy Abbott. Yet, Adam's unexpected plea pulls her back into his orbit. When she arrives at the penthouse, Adam's charm and seemingly heartfelt words persuade her to listen. He proposes rekindling their relationship for the sake of their son and their own future. Despite this seemingly romantic offer, Chelsea senses a disconnect. Adam's reassurances are tainted by a coldness that raises her suspicions. Although his words promise a fresh start, Chelsea can't shake the feeling that Adam's affections are more about filling a void than genuine love. Her doubts intensify when Connor enters the room, excited at the prospect of his parents reuniting. Adam's smile, directed at his son, seems to confirm his plan, but Chelsea remains uneasy. As days pass, Chelsea grapples with her decision. Adam's offer of a life together with him and Connor seems appealing, yet the nagging doubt about his true feelings persists. The lure of family life is strong. But Chelsea is torn between this and the potential new beginning with Billy. The facade begins to crack during a dinner scene, where Chelsea notices Adam's distracted demeanor. His eyes, though smiling, seem distant, revealing his preoccupation with someone else, Sally. Chelsea's worst fears come to fruition as she realizes that Adam's professed love might be a mere act. Her confrontation with Adam is a heart-wrenching moment as she demands the truth. Adam admits that while he values Chelsea and their family, his heart is still tethered to Sally. This confession shatters Chelsea's hopes. She realizes that Adam's desire for her was driven by his need to avoid loneliness rather than genuine affection. With tears in her eyes, Chelsea decides to leave, unable to continue living a lie for the sake of their son. Connor, overhearing the confrontation, is crushed to learn that his parents' reconciliation was nothing more than a facade. The revelation leaves him disillusioned, realizing that his parents' efforts to appear united were hollow. In the aftermath, as Chelsea walks away, Adam is left alone in the penthouse, burdened by the weight of his decisions. The silence of the empty apartment reflects the isolation he feared, revealing the stark reality that his fear of being alone has led him to push away the people he claims to care about. The episode closes with Adam reflecting on his choices, now faced with the consequences of his actions and the painful truth of his heart's true desires. Nikki puts words in Kay's mouth to play Lily on Young and Restless August 29. Victor has made his The Young and the Restless marching orders clear to Nikki. She is to use Catherine's memory to make sure Lily sides with them over Billy when Victor takes over Chancellor Industries. Um, sorry, Abba Chancellor. To that end, Nikki invited Lily to tea on the August 29 episode, How Civilized. She plans to read Lily some of Kay's writings, or at least what Nikki claims is Kay's writings. Nikki, as we all know, has no problem with lying. And Nikki, as we all know, lives to please Victor, Eric Braden, who urged fans to do this. So if she has to please Victor by lying, well, 
Then it's all in a day's work of being a devoted wife. How else would she and Victor be in their fortieth year of marriage? If you don't count all the divorces and marriages to other people in between. And if Nikki has to. Lie to Lily, a woman she's known since the day she was born. Well, that's even better. They're practically family. And nothing is more important to the Newmans than family.